I personally believe that a space influences your state of mind. You know, the minute people get here as a group, they automatically relax. And when somebody is relaxed, they open up and then they have opened up their heart, their mind, and then you find that guiding them is quite easier, even if it's their first time to experience any form of meditation or anything of mindfulness. Here I am practicing an Eastern uh, philosophy, and I love it so much, and I connected with it so much. And then one day, boom, a light bulb moment, and realized that we do have meditation in Sotswana. We call it huiteza. Literal translation is to listen to ourselves and our grannies used to do that a whole lot. At where? Masimo. Open air. Wow. And that just blew me away. So with this space all the time, because I now have an understanding from an African perspective, more Setswana. So what a walking meditation is, is being aware of your movement as you're walking. Yeah? And some people use that as a prayer or time for gratitude. Because most of the time when we are walking, we are not even aware. Can you tell me how you walk? Does your toes touch first or is the ball of your leg or is it your heel? We are not really aware. It's some sort of an autopilot thing. So it will just be a time to be really aware of our body in our body movement and we can use that for prayer or for gratitude or just to create space in the mind. This place has uh, actually um, inspired me to come up with some practices like uh, one of them is a mokoro meditation. You know, a mau is a place that we have lots of mokoros, you know, right through the water. So that is one of the meditation that I just, you know, uh, started practicing. Where you actually get in there and you activate all your senses from sight to hearing to touch and actually really beautiful.